these kids just keep swarming all around me. These kids are really bad. And they treat their teacher also really bad. But then we beat them in a game of hide and seek. And then they became good. Okay. Quit following me. Hey guys, XB Gamer here. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Last time, we uh, caught these guys in hide and seek, like I said, and now they want us to apologize to their teacher for something we didn't even do. But, oh well, let's just go do it because maybe we'll get another heart container. Just kidding, we won't get another one, but we'll get something better. What can I do for you on this fine day? We need to talk once again. You did it, didn't you? You said something to those delinquents for me, didn't you, dear? You can't fool me, I watched it all from the shadow of my door. You really are a dear, you fill me with joy. I have to reward you, so here's a little spare change. You got a purple ruby. I thought it was blue at first, I'm like, bull crap. Oh, and one more thing, don't tell anybody, dear. It's a secret to everybody. So now let's go talk to the killer bees once again. Oh, you automatically do. Okay. Hey, sounds like you apologized at the teach for us. Good old Mrs. Mary. And speaking of bud, did you know it's gonna be Mrs. Mary's birthday soon? Boss! Oh boss! Think maybe we should give her some kind of present or something? Don't be stupid, but the killer bees. We ain't no teacher's pets. Yeah, but Teach loves jewelry and junk more than anything in the world. What's she into these days? What'd she call them? Joy pendants? We're gonna be collecting a lot of those. Really? Where do you find them? Are they just lying around? If we could just find some, we could give them to Teach as a present, and she'd be all happy. Hey, now that I think about it, when, was, when I was climbing trees the other day, I saw some sparkly light up on top of some tree in town. Where was that? Maybe that's one of them pendants. What do you think, boss? No, that's crazy talk. So, this is where the, uh, uh, the side quest basically ends for us now. Since we have nothing more to do until we collect, uh, enough joy pendants to give her. So, I just want to find that one in the tree first. Also, I talked to this guy. Oh my. Okay, so I talked to that guy. I guess he still does try and talk to me for a little bit, but. Alright. Uh, yeah, alright. So I don't know what tree that Joy Pendant is in. I don't want to talk to you. So now, let's go talk to. Where's he is? Is him. No, that's a potion shop. I don't want to go there. I think it might be this place. But this might be where Salvatore is. Yeah, this is Salvatore. I'm gonna play his mini game just because he's really fun. Hey, yo, uh, welcome. It's, it's 10 rupees for game for kids. You want to play or what? Yes. Yeah, okay then. Uh, 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 uh. Welcome to the fleet. I am the great Admiral Dorfowski. Dorfowski, look sharp, for we are the stone protectors of this island. Admiral, red alert, all hands on deck. Sonar shows that schools of deadly giant squid are approaching. Our ships prepare for battle. But where? Ah, who? I see. The fiends approach. There are three squid groups, a large one, a medium one, and a small one. If we allow them to come any closer, the children on the island will be in grave danger. Sero, take command of our new radar system to seek out and sink all of these fiendishly hidden enemies. But be warned, you have only 24 cannonballs that you can fire. To destroy the marauding squid pods, you must score 4 direct hits on the large, 3 on the medium, and 2 on the small. 
Use pointy thing to move the cursor and press A to fire a cannon blast. May your aim be true. That is all. That is all the instruction you need. Is that clear, Sarah? Aye, aye, sir. Excellent. So far, our best Sarah has managed to destroy all of the giant squid using only 20 cannonballs. May you fight as bravely. <clears throat> now listen to the sound he makes if you miss. I'm actually hoping this is a miss. Oh, that was a hit. Okay, but you heard he's like, Kaboom! Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, you heard it right there. Splish. I hate this game. It's like Battleship with Zelda. <sighs> Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh, bad news. Uh, Sailor, the enemies that have re retreated or, or something. I, I don't know. It's 10 rupees per game. Wanna try again? Yes. Yeah, uh, okay, then. Uh, I have, uh, excellent. So far, best sailor of the eye. Okay, there's one. I physically like, can't make this. So here's what happens when you finally manage to do it in less than 20 shots. Oh, okay, hang on. There we go. Excellent work, Sir. Your deeds have successfully protected the peace on this fair island. We are so very proud. The children on the island would like to thank you, Sir. Please take this piece of heart as a sign of our gratitude. You are so great. I'm not doing that voice because it hurts my lungs. You get another piece of heart. Two more to complete another heart container. Whoa, wait a sec. 19? Hey, that, that's a new record. So uh, you, you get this too. Treasure chart. We're going to be collecting a lot of these too. So uh, thanks for playing and all that. I can't tell you how fun it's been for me. And, uh, don't forget your umbrella or nothing on your way out the door. Alright. <coughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Roll upstairs, smash your head into a stair somehow. Well, not somehow, I can see exactly why that would happen. Uh, no. Okay, so this isn't where we should be going. I'm looking for, uh, the, uh, uh, what? This is the potion shop, right? If this is where I was going all along. This is where I was going all along, right? Talk to this guy. Boy, young sir. I must say you seem to be in possession of a very fine picto box there. Are you a lover of pictographs as well? There can be no villains amongst the ranks of picto box lovers. Take your time, look around. I implore you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Aren't these some finely snapped pictographs? You must admit it. But come now, you needn't be so surprised, my young sir. It is a hobby of mine to sneak up behind people when they least expect it. Just like a bunch of other people in Zelda games. It's quite an amusing diversion. Think nothing of it. 
other way, the pictographs you see decorating these fine walls have all been taken by none other than myself. They are my pride and joy. You see, in my younger days I was tireless, sailing far and wide across the great sea, snapping pictographs wherever I went. And have a look at them, young- have a look at them, young sir. Now, I'm gonna talk to you again. Does this not make a fine pictograph? It is the epitome of pictography. Not too close up, yet not too zoomed out to discern the subject. It boasts perfect balance of scale, wouldn't you say? Okay, so that does nothing. So, uh, let's leave this place. Now let's re-enter this place so that tube will be in a different position. Yeah! What do you know? There he is. You see, young sir, I have been studying picto boxes since I was but a lad. My lifelong dream of creating a box with incredible pictography capabilities that it is at long last near fruition. Young sir, I hesitate to ask, but... Could you, perchance, become my research assistant? Oh, oh, really? Really and truly? My heart leaps at your enthusiasm. But I feel I must tell you, the path an assistant must follow is not a simple one. I demand that whose, whose, whosoever takes on, this, on the role of my assistant be an individual who can take whatever command I may issue and promptly complete it without hesitation. It will be quite a challenge, I assure you. Are you still sure you want to do this? Absolutely. Uh, you must share my love of the pictograph. What is your name, young sir? Link, is it? Very well, then. I shall issue three commands to you. On the dawn of the day, you complete all three tasks. You shall be my number one assistant, Link. Now then, for my first command, a love letter. Do you know what that is, young sir? It is a collection of words of love, drawn unspoken and put into written form. Somewhere in this town, there is one who, despite constant rejection, never learns the cold lesson of unrequited passion and continues to write letters of doomed love. I am certain the object of this sadly one-sided affection is in quite a quandary over the matter. I am one, I am of the mind that I must that I must have a word with the unwanted suitor. However, I must have physical evidence, and thus your first task is to snap a pictograph of this individual in the act of sending the unwanted letters. That sounds easy, does it not? Rightly so. If you hope to be my assistant, you must perform this task with ease. We shall perform this task with ease. Next episode. Along with the other two tasks, one of which I have actually done. So, only two tasks. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time when we complete the next tasks. And, uh, yeah. Ending off is exactly how we began.